Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is CNBC's Trading Nation. Traders, we're going to look at Intel. Intel and the rest of the chips have performed very well in this re recent period of volatility that we've seen. So as we take a look at the daily chart, you can see that the Intel has traced out a pretty interesting expanding volatility pattern. It's a series of uh, higher highs and lower lows, uh, which is usually uh, opposite. In most cases, you get a triangle, which is a consolidating pattern. This is an expanding volatility pattern. It does seem to be resolving on the top side through this 51 mark. And I think heading into earnings on April 26th, we should have a shot to move on up towards that $55 region. Now, as I mentioned, the expanding volatility uh, can be viewed right here on the implied volatility, which you can see is in an elevated level. So that means options are already expensive. So we want to be bullish on, on Intel, but also bearish on the implied volatility level. Okay. And the way you do that is not by buying expensive options. You do that by selling expensive options. Now the trade I have uh, set up here for you is we're going to do a butterfly up towards that $55 target. The trade we're going to do is we are going to be selling two of the 55 calls on the April 13th uh, options expiration. We're going to be selling two calls at 55. Then what we're going to do is we're going to buy one call above at 50 and another call below at 60. The idea of this trade is you're trying to get the market to, to move up to the body of the butterfly, where which is where you've sold two calls at 55. And the risk profile here will show you your max profits on the purple line at expiration will be $335 if we close right at 55 at the expiration. As you move lower than 55, the profits start to drop off and you will begin to lose money at expiration below 5160 on the downside. And on the top side, if the trade works too well, you'll begin to lose money at 5827. So you can see we have a $7 range of potential profitability. And the idea here, guys, is one, we're directional in our bet in that the market will move up towards 55. But if that implied volatility settles in a little bit, the body of the butterfly, those two options that were short at 55, that will start to work for us as the value of those 55 calls drop. That means we're that's good because we're short and we want the price to go down. But the 50 call that we're long will help us to get a little directional. And then um, the 60 call again will even out being that we're long two options and short two options. So it's a it's a little unusual strategy, but it's a great way to play a directional bet and high implied volatility that you expect to settle in. Now, altogether, this trade is going to cost us about $1.60 or $160 plus commissions um, that you want to put on. The idea here, guys, is I want to try to make 25% return on that $1.60. So roughly, if we get up to a $2 value for that butterfly, let's go ahead take the trade off, nice return, and simply move on. Okay, so let's put this trade on. I'm gonna try to get filled at $1.60, and that trade is now working. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck in that trade. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation on Twitter for updates to this trade, as well as all the other markets. Our traders are watching. We'll see you guys in the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.